Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 28 of my Minecraft 1.18 Hardcore Survival Let's Play. So, I've made the decision. Sorry there wasn't a video yesterday, but I've made the decision. I think we're going to move, not move, but at least have a house here at the Woodland Mansion because I really like this place. And uh, I've always wanted to fix one up, uh, but I always thought, you know, oh, it's too daunting. But now that we have an Elytra, like, I really feel like it's it's pretty manageable for us to fix this thing up. I have quite a few ideas. I've been brainstorming. I even went in a uh, creative world and found another Woodland Mansion on another seed and just kind of played around with a few things just to figure out what I really could do. Now, I didn't plan it all out, but I did plan out a few things and I think it's going to be really cool. I don't think we're going to do that in this episode because, well, first of all, we, we need to kind of establish a base here because currently the only thing that I've done that you haven't seen um, from last week is I put a door here pretty revolutionary and I also put a bed down at the back of this giant bed <laughs> so that's the only changes that I've made and then I can't remember if I made this on camera or not but I, I made this staircase easier to walk up and down but every time I walk up and down the staircase I realize that this thing needs to be changed like this is the most jank staircase like what what is this like what is that so we're gonna fix that I think we might just put a ladder in here I really don't know but we have so much room to put all of these amazing things in here, like this room, for example, could be an enchanting room, and it even has a space in the ceiling for chests and stuff, and I want to redo most of this, right? And I think a lot of it is going to have to be done on live streams. Um, I did actually live stream um, a, a, a custom world. It was like a one-by-one one tiny world here. I'll, I'll go show you real quick. Here, I'll load into the world real quick. This is what I live streamed. Just if you want to go check it out. Basically, it's a expanding world border world. I know this is not the hardcore world, but I just wanted to show you this one. And I uh, also made a mob spawner, a miniature version of what we made in our uh, hardcore world. But yeah, if you want to go watch that, the live stream is uploaded to my channel. It's actually really cool. And I'm going to be live streaming it again this week. So, well, I guess technically next week. Sometime after Sunday. Uh, so, make sure you're in my Discord server if you don't want to miss that. It expands by one block every time you get, like, one of these advancements. Where are they? One of these advancements. It gets bigger. So it's really cool, and uh, I've been having a lot of fun with it. The first live stream was, like, three hours long. Okay, well, anyways, one of the first things that I want to do in this hardcore world is make an iron farm. Because we have not made a single iron farm. Um, which means we need to scout out a little bit of an area, because... <laughs> Currently, we have literally no... I have no idea where a village is. I have no idea where this thing really is. Um, I'll conquer this thing at some point, and I want to drain it, and I also want to have, like, the dock go all the way out here. I feel like this building is big enough to where a dock that goes all the way out to there would be, like, an appropriate size. Like, more appropriate than if it was a smaller base. But let's fly around here. Let's see if we can find a village or something. Because, like, legitimately, aside from what's in that direction, which is the direction I flew in from... I don't really know what's around here, so what's really cool though is the fact that oh, there's a there's a little jungle temple. Okay, we'll go explore that. Um, what I was trying to say is what's cool is there's like a birch forest here, there's a dark oak forest, and then of course there's this jungle here. But where the dark oak forest and the jungle intersect actually looks pretty cool because you know you never really see dark oak trees and then these trees combined. And uh, it's a pretty cool look. I, w I want to make my own biome where I plant every kind of tree at once. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Uh, see, this is why... This is why no one loves you skeletons. Because you're just mean. You just shoot me. You don't even ask anything. Oh, wow. That's actually a cracked jungle temple chest. <laughs> I'm not going to take that stuff. And then, of course, you know, there's the hidden chest back here. Uh, where is it? I know it's back here somewhere. Here she blows. Okay. Well, I will take the saddle. That is pretty rare. Um, but yeah, I want to make an iron farm, which means we've got to find a village somewhat close. Um, but that's going to be the goal of this episode, is just making an iron farm. I haven't made one in a while. But every time I make one, I'm like, dude, this is so amazing. Because I need a bunch of hoppers so I can make my super smelter. Because um, I need to smelt a bunch of things to make this thing look amazing. So I don't even know if we'll get to it this weekend. It's going to be like a multi-weekend project, renovating this thing. Uh, but yeah, like I said, let's go look for a village. Hopefully there's not one too far away. Don't break my heart, Minecraft. I know you'll be somewhere around here. Because I can transport them a good distance by boat. Um, I just don't know... Oh. Hmm. Oh, hey! Yes, dude! And that's just a straight shot, and most of it's in the water. Oh, baby, does this connect? Does, does this river right here connect to the big ocean over here? I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Dude, let's go! It's straight shot! 
Oh, uh, dude. Okay, this episode's already turning out really good. I was I was expecting that to be like half the video trying to get a villager. Well, let's just run over here. Um, we even have some wood on us. Wow, and it's even uphill from here, so we can just. Oh, is this village all messed up? Hold on. What is this village looking like? What in the world? It only. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it only has like three. Only has like three buildings. It's like one right there. What in the world? And we're gonna farm you, buddy. Okay, so we pretty much just need two villagers. I'll just make a little tiny villager breeder. Um, and then we'll let that run. And we'll go do some other stuff while we're waiting. But for now, let's craft a boat. Because it's all we need. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, it's always fun to kind of go in a new area in your world. And not necessarily start over. But like, I don't know. I've never made an iron farm... Um, in hardcore? Or have I? No, my first my first world in hardcore actually did. That's right. Can I not put a boat there? Is that why it's not letting me... Can I put the boat down? Oh. Okay, here, buddy. Oh, and you're... Hey, wait, do you have mending? Oh, sweeping edge, too. That's actually pretty good. Uh, it is tricky, though, to get these guys in boats sometimes. Maybe if we swim over to him. Yeah, no, buddy. Okay, okay. He's going around back. There we go. Look, there was a- was there another village? Yeah, you're just right there. Probably should have made two boats, but yeah, as long as we get two of these villagers, we're in a good position here. Oh, you just got your job? Huh. Look how that happened. Here, come here, buddy. Look. I found some, uh, I found some- some bugs that are eating your crops. You need to come in this boat. Alright, operation push him into the boat, because I'm tired of waiting. Go. Go. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes they'll kind of let you, but other times they're very stubborn. Can you just... Can you just... Oh, the struggle's real. Can you just get in this boat? Can you just... Yeah, there you go. Okay. Alright, now to drive them all the way back to our woodland mansion, which really is not going to take that long. Like, look, we can just straight up float down this... Okay, let me make sure there's nothing... Um, okay, so I may want to make a little bit of a bridge here. Just so that we don't mess anything up. Let's just make sure there's a straight shot. So we just go down here. Yep, and we float down. And then can we get to the water from there? Yeah, we can. Sweet, okay. But you have to keep in mind that if you go onto this path block, you cannot go up that little tiny ledge right there. So I'm going to have to build a, at least like a somewhat of a path. So hold on. Okay, and then I think this is probably good enough. Just got to break all these blocks and then... Oh, well, there's wood right here. Oh, I guess we can just have the water go into there. Okay. And then... I really don't have a water bucket. But I do have my IMS with me, so... I'm sure it's somewhere in here, the toolbox. Yeah, dude. We got a ton of buckets. Look at all these buckets. Maximum bucketage. There we go. Honestly, we should have a bucket. Like, I'm just gonna keep that. We should always have a bucket in our inventory. Uh, we don't need one fence. This is a silk one. Yeah, it's called inventory. Sweet. Okay, so now... Man. Do we have a piece of dirt? Oh, <laughs> I guess that's a little too much dirt, but it's okay. This is perfect. And then let me just boop it. There we go. So now I can just bring them straight down this path that I made. That's, you know, good size. And uh, this will prevent them from falling or doing any odd stuff. It's going to become dark. So I'm going to steal a villager bed and I'll meet you guys in the morning because I don't want to be doing this at night. Oh, he mad. <laughs> he was standing on my chest. He's like, dude, what do you think you're doing? You know what? I am going to... I'm going to make your life very hard. How about that? J just because you did that, I'm going to make your life very hard. Did you just... Okay. Watch this. This is the meanest thing I've ever done. No! Okay. Well, I was going to block him in there, but you know what? I probably shouldn't be super mean. But I am taking, like, it looks like two-thirds of this population. I've only seen two villagers this entire time, which is uh, quite interesting, to say the least. Can I not go up on the wood? Oh, no. Okay. See, this is where it gets really difficult because I just messed up. Uh, what do I do? I hate villagers. They're so hard to work with. Yeah. No, don't. Okay. 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 Well, now I have to break the boat. <laughs> See, I, I legitimately do not know what to do in this situation. I'm sure some of you guys do, but, like, once they're stuck in here, I don't know what to do because I can't, like, replace the floor. Maybe I could use water, but, yeah, I'm going to have to do F3 and B. Turn on hitboxes, and then I'm going to whack the hitbox, because it really is... Okay, hold on. Does that break the boat? No, but they get out. Okay. Uh, see, this is going to be difficult. Hold on. Okay. I think I found the solution. 
I'm going to build another bigger box up here. And then I'm going to break this. Okay. This is not a solution. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying to figure out a way to fix this. And I'm like making it way too complicated. But I think this will work, right? And then if I break the boat, like boop. And then they come up here. And they get in the boat. At least one of them gets in the boat. Okay. There we go. Come on. Someone's going to have to get in the boat. Okay. And then we just... Yeah. Wait, that's the wrong way. <laughs> okay, this will work. Okay, good. See, I knew half the video would be me getting them over there. No, don't go onto the path. Oh, gosh. Do I still have him? Yes. Okay, and then I just make my way all the way to that water down there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are home free. I'm pretty sure. Just kind of turn a little bit. There we go, dude. Let's go. We got our villager, our first villager, and uh, yeah, things are looking up. We're going to have our very own iron farm. On the first, This is like the first week of owning our brand. I guess we own it. I mean, we, we took care of all the bad guys in it, so we pretty much own it, right? <laughs> oh, that's ironic. You want to know what's funny? I brought this villager over here, but I have no idea where I'm going to put said villager. Like, I literally have no clue. So, I mean, obviously, there's going to be, like, a big wraparound dock here at some point. So, and I, and I want to have a villager breeder. So, maybe we can just bring them in here. But the question is, what room are we going to put them in? What room do we want our, want our villager breeder to be in? Because, like, this room... Well, in my opinion, is utterly useless. Like, what, what, what would I turn this into? <laughs> what on earth is this even like supposed to be? Was there a diamond hoe? Okay, I don't really need any of that stuff. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna disassemble this thing because yeah, I don't know what this thing would be. We can turn this into a little bit of a villager breeder, and that's you know perfectly okay. We don't have any wool though. We can always fly back to our old base if we need to get anything like that we don't want to grind for. Um, but, like, you can't go and get villagers, right? So, I'm going to put the villager in here. Um, when I see you next, I'll probably have two villagers in here. Because it's just repeating the same process for the other one. Um, it should be pretty simple, I think, to get the villager in here. Like, we just build... We can back the boat up a little bit. Um, and then just kind of build, like, a little bit of a dock here. Okay, that's not as simple as I thought. Maybe he will just walk into here, though. It is going to be a little bit tricky to make sure he goes exactly where I want him, though. Maybe do something like this. That way I don't have to break this big, beautiful carpet. Yeah, that'll be pretty easy. And then just have him... Have him where he can only go, like, right here. That's perfect. Okay. So, yeah, let me do that, and I will see you guys once I have two villagers in this room, and we'll start to build a little bit of a breeder. All right, well, the neo-original method of boat transportation that I, you know, totally invented worked. I'm actually very happy with this. I was I was seriously thinking this would take forever. Um, but you just kind of drive him in here. You get out. Okay, don't don't play in third person. And then you just, you just block him in. It's really simple. And then eventually they're going to get out. They'll come up here. It took the last guy a few minutes. I don't think he liked me. <laughs> oh, oh, this one's instantly going. Come on this way, my good sir. I promise there is a, a job block in here for you. You are now a farmer man. Yeah, dude. We're come right on in here. Ooh, almost, you almost got it. Remember that meme? It's like, ooh, you almost got it. I don't even remember what that was. It was like a fishing pole or something. Um, and then all we need to do is something simple, you know, come in here with some, with some ladders or do something like that. It really doesn't matter how we do this. Um, I think that's, is that going to be an even amount? Nope. That's all we need. Oh, we could have just done one ladder. And now we can get in just fine, but they can't. They can't leave. So, it's perfect. All right, so now what we got to do is just put some farmland down in here. Just pretty much put some uh, put some dirt, put some water. And uh, I, have, I had a baked potato, right? But that's not what we need. So, we're going to have to go find either carrots or potatoes. I can't foresee that being too difficult. But, like, personally, I don't really know where you find those things. I'm pretty sure you find, like, potatoes from zombies or in a dungeon or something. Um, but we do need to go mining, so maybe we'll go down below and see if we can't find anything. We just have to actually find, like, a cave or something, you know? But there we go. Now we got our villagers in. All is well. And uh, we can move on to our next step here. Kind of. 
it really just it's going to be dependent on how quick we can get them to start breeding um, and the only deciding factor in that is where in the heck where in the heck are we going to find carrots and potatoes <laughs> let's check let's actually check this thing because I might have just looked at them you know because you, once you have them once, you don't really ever get them again. You don't look at them and be like, ooh, there's carrots or potatoes. But I might have just done that with these chests. Is there any carrots or potatoes? Okay. Okay, that's bamboo. That's not what we need at all. And there's no potatoes. Okay. So I'm going to fly around and try to find a cave. And if there's not a mine shaft, maybe we can find a dungeon or something. I, I mean, we'll just have to see what we can find. So let's just fly up here real quick. Go way up in the sky here. And then you just have to pause the screen. Do you see any caves? I see this. That's not a cave. What is that? That doesn't really look like a cave. It technically is a cave, but I don't think it's a very good one. Oh, that looks nice. We, and, if we, and if we can't find them, we'll fly back to our old base. No problem at all. Um, but I do need to put up a few things, which is awesome, because I have a wood chest. Like, literally just a chest for wood stuff. And I can just throw it. It is completely full of wood. <laughs> okay. Do we have a chest that's just completely empty? We do. We, this black one is completely empty. Okay. So this will be our second wood chest. How about that? Because our other one's already full. Whoops. It's not supposed to happen, but... Oh, maybe eventually I can just make another brown one. It really wouldn't be that hard at all. Oh, uh, yeah. Let me scout around for a potato or a carrot. Yeah, I'm really smart. I should probably just go check the village. <laughs> I was using the bathroom, and I was trying to figure out, I was like Googling it, like, what's the easiest way to find carrots or potatoes? People were like, villages, 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 and I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> I just came from a village. And also, when I was reading around, I also read that this kid was selling keychains and raised money to erase the school lunch debt of all the kids in his school. And I was thinking to myself, you know, I never had to worry about those things as a kid. I was, I had a, I had a blessed life, and... I think to myself, I'm like, first of all, how can a kid go into debt? <laughs> and third of all, if you can't afford a school lunch, you should never have to pay for it. Like, I'm not, I'm not a political person. I think both sides are equally kind of just stupid at this point. But there becomes a point in everyone's life where you got to take a stand. And I'm like, dude, why should kids ever have to worry about that? And is this just... Oh, carrots. There we go. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, oh, what was that? Beetroot. Ugh, we don't want that. We just need them carrots. Thank you. I guess you can't even really tell what it is. It doesn't really tell you. But I was just thinking to myself, like, I'm really not a political person. Like, I don't want to get into it. But I'm just like, why are kids having to worry about paying for their school? If they can't afford it, they can't afford it. Just give them food. They're kids. What are they going to do? They can't help it if their parents cannot help them. Like, it's not... Why? <laughs> it's... Like, that's so sad. Like, why, why would kids have to go into debt? I don't even think kids can go into debt. But, like, why would the school... Or the lunch... What? That just, that just boggles my mind. That's so sad. And then this kid basically just made a bunch of money. He made, like, five grand to pay off his fellow student's lunch debt. And I was just like, dude, that makes me so sad. Okay. We have the carrots. We just need some basic stuff now. Just some dirt, which I'm pretty sure we just have. Uh, we have one piece in our inventory, so I can go grab that really fast. Because, you know, we got that efficiency five shovel. Makes things very easy. Very, very easy. I just want to go far away. I don't want to make my area look ugly. We'll go right, right here. This is already kind of dug out. We don't even need that much. So I'm going to try to try to mine it out in a way that won't make it look bad. I think maybe a stack should do. Somewhere around a stack or so. Okay. We got our stack of dirt. We do have a water bucket still. And uh, we should pretty easily... Now, <laughs> I broke that one entrance. So I'm trying to think... Where exactly, where exactly are we going to get in and out of this thing? Because we're going to have to eventually build like an entrance. Like this, this right here is technically the entrance, but it's not going to do. I mean, it's right in front of a wall. So I think maybe I'll kind of drill that out a little bit. But how, hold on. I know I keep like flying around. But let me see. So if we were to make our entrance right there, we yeah, that'd be okay. We only have to clear a couple of trees. And uh, that would actually look pretty good, I think. Okay, all right. So our villager breeder should be over here, which is good it's in the corner, because I don't want to hear them going, hur, 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 you know, constantly. It's never fun. We'll let these guys do their thing, 
And uh, while we're doing that, uh, we'll have to stick somewhere close. And we can we can probably work on that entrance or something like that. Oh yeah, we need beds. Uh, oof. <laughs> I completely forgot about the beds. Okay, well this might be more interesting than I thought. I may fly back home to grab the beds. Because getting wool, unless we can just find a bunch of sheep, is going to be quite problematic. We can try the sheep method. I think we even have some iron. I also threw some items in a hole here. I think they're gone now. Oh, this should be enough dirt, right? I'm pretty sure it is, but if it's not, we can always go grab some more. Not a problem at all. I'm just happy we have the villagers. That's like literally the hardest part, of course. There we go. And I like that most of these rooms are like an odd number, so you can always have blocks in the center and such. That just is a, a quality of life thing, and it's really, really nice. Okay, let's put that down. And then we should have a toolbox in here. I don't remember what color it is. It's what, yeah, there it is, the toolbox, and that should pretty much just contain, yeah, our buckets and our hoe. Because you really don't need, like, a hoe in your inventory. Like, you just don't. I, I, I you know, at this point in the game, the only thing you're going to be making is, like, stuff like this. You, you're going to be relying mostly on steak. We're going to have to make a new source of food here, though. Right? Because we don't have any current sources of food. So... We'll have to do that. I also, I need to make some light in here. That's a little bit too dark for me. And I'm pretty sure that one of these chests, well, that one's just called, uh, but one of, yes, the light box. That's right. And I know I'm missing yellow. Every, everyone told me, everyone was very enthusiastically telling me all the stuff that I forgot, all the colors. And it, it's true. I forgot yellow. And I think cyan is the other color that I had forgotten. So we will get those eventually. Um, but we'll probably just change the current shulker boxes we have just to kind of adapt for those. And I'm trying to make this, I need to go one block up, but I don't really want to break. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Using all of my IQ. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, pretty much just need one lantern in here. There we go. Just to help those crops grow so nothing happens. Put this back in our toolbox. Grab our toolbox. Throw it in there. We don't need any more lights. Throw that in there. So beautiful, dude. Being able to store all that in just this little stack of ender chests. Okay. So now we need to worry about beds. Let's go see if there's some sheep around here, because if there's not, then we're going to have to figure out something other than our current plan. And I do have to run quite a distance. I wonder if I can fly in here, okay? Or is it going to be too dangerous? That's too dangerous. Okay. <laughs> this is a big building, but it's not big enough to fly around in. That's for sure. Okay, we're at midday, so we got time. It's just tricky because, you know, you can't really, like, look down into the dark oak forest and see sheep. I see a couple over here. Okay. I do like that they made the jungle. This is the sparse jungle biome. Because used to, the only thing that looked remotely like this was the jungle edge biome. And it was tiny. Like, it was super duper tiny. Now, these guys. Oh, these guys. Hold on. Okay, I just took this away. But hold on. Okay. I need something from these guys. Also. Oh. There's another sheep. I know I'm all over the place, but I see these cows, and I don't want to lose these cows, and I don't want to lose these sheep, so I'm going to try to put them together here really quick. I just need to grab my hoe, and then hopefully really quickly here just to grow some wheat. So I'll put this down right there, and then we'll just kind of... Okay. I love you torches, but not right now. Don't need you. Okay. And there we go. And then we can just grow these really quickly. Like we can put these seeds down, grow those. Ooh, okay. Don't need potatoes. We don't need, what do we not need? Bread? Yeah, we're not gonna need bread. Okay. I guess we technically only need one piece of wheat. And the longer we wait, the more separated everything's gonna be. So we have to quickly do this. Okay. I wanna make a fenced off area, but do we have enough time for that? Hmm. For now, we can just make a hole. I guess. I feel so bad every time I do it like this, but like, sometimes, you know, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. And now we have to make a bunch of trap doors. Okay. I do have a wood shulker, so we're gonna grab that. I promise. My inventory will never be like this again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we already had. Oh, and we had a bunch of bones on us the whole time, anyways. Okay. Wood box. We probably have trap doors in here. Wow, okay, we don't actually have trap doors in there, that's sad. Okay. These sheep are like, what's going on? Huh? What are you doing here, dude? Just so that they will fall in the hole. 
Okay, and now I need to attract every animal around me. Sheep, come here. I need the sheeps, I need the cows, and of course these guys are walking literally as far away as they can. Come on, guys. Come on, and I don't want to get all of the sheep in here. I want a couple of them to still walk around, but I want at least two of both. Come on, into the hole. Oh, I guess that hurts them, that's okay. Yeah, okay, so now we have two cows. We just need two cows and two sheep. And then we'll be fine. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. Is that two cows and two sheep? Two cows, two sheep. Perfect. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, our wood chest... Okay, we don't need, like, a stick. Like, sticks are kind of... Yeah, you don't really need that. It's pretty simple to get. Uh, we'll throw oh, this one. And then I'm trying to think. Do we have any other shulker boxes out? Yeah, where is it? The toolbox, which we don't need that anymore. So we can put that back up. There we go. Okay. And then, okay, we have the shulker boxes. Okay, let me clean up my inventory a little bit. Because I know there's just some stuff I'm just not going to need. Okay, so I got out my rare box. Because I want to put, like, emeralds in there. The woodland maps. Just stuff like that that's pretty rare. That I'm not going to, like, immediately need. And that way, our inventory is a little less full, a little less cramped. So I'm going to sit here for a while, and I'm just going to kind of farm these sheep, because honestly, there's no real quicker way to do it. I could make a sheep farm, but that would just take forever. I think it'd be easier if I just follow these guys around. I don't need, like, a giant villager breeder. I think I think your average iron farm, I think it takes four villagers. Like, I'm pretty sure it takes four. So I'm going to follow these guys around as they eat and just farm their wool. So I'll meet you guys back when I have enough wool. Well, since you saw me last, I've literally got no wool. He just doesn't want to eat. And uh, so I don't really know what I'm going to do. I, I may fly back home because I have like so much wool there from our spider spawner. Right? Like, shouldn't I do that? I think that's what I'm going to do because it's really not that far of a flight home. Maybe like 2,000 blocks. It'll take like, it'll take less than like four minutes. So yeah, I'm going to fly back home. When I see you next, I should have a bunch of wool because... 10 isn't enough. We need a lot more. Oh, and by the way, as I'm flying back, I wanted to share with you a few ideas that I have. So instead of doing a minecart track... Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of sheep, actually. Um, I think I want to do a nether portal hub. Um, I feel like that would be really cool and have a bunch of, you know, ice paths going to the areas we need to go to. So I'm going to do that instead of a mineshaft. I know I said I'd do that and I'd live stream the mineshaft and all this stuff, but then I just... I never did it, and, like, there's no point in doing it now because... I think that it would be a lot better to have another ice path. So we're going to do a really cool hub in the nether because I've literally never done that. And I'm actually really excited to kind of figure out how that's going to work. I don't have the best luck with nether portals connecting correctly, but I think we can figure it out. If they're far enough away, it should work. Now we can get between this base and, uh, you know, my other two bases fairly easily. Um, I don't actually think it's going to be that hard. This may give us enough wool. I mean, we have 34. That's 10 beds. Do we need more than 10 beds? I mean, mm, maybe, but we can fly back and forth from, you know, this group of sheep and that other one. Do a little air shear on them. And some of them are being generous, man, They're giving us like threes, threes, and threes. Oh, okay. Did you get trapped in here, buddy? No, you can get out if you want to. You just got to be a smart sheep. Come on. Come on. There you go. Can you get it? Yes, you can get out. They're just very fluffy. They're not actually that big. They're just very fluffy. Oh, yes. Okay. So, I'll be able to get enough wool here. But if this gives you any indication of how close to home we already are, like this... I think this is a caldera. I don't remember. Um, but this is fairly close to my home. And then the woodland mansion... I actually pointed you guys in the wrong direction. Yeah, this is a caldera. Which just means it's like mountains surrounding like a flatter area in the middle. Oh, and there's a mine shaft, and I see two chests just exposed. Might as well grab those. And we can get the string from in there, too. Oh, another mine... Okay. Could have gotten some seeds in here, too. Um, but, yeah, this is pretty close. I mean, this biome is the biome that my, you know, lush cave area isn't. Wow, there's two. Okay. And then I don't know. Oh, there's three. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Nothing in there, really. Um, but this string, you know, you can get string. It's a little more difficult unless you find, you know, an actual, like, spawner, which I don't see anyone around here. It's honestly fine. I think our base... Yeah, our base is literally right there. What the heck? Yeah, the Woodland Mansion, like, here, I'll show you. So this is our base, right? The Woodland Mansion is, is right here. Well, look at this. So I was pointing in kind of the right direction. But, like, I'm not joking when I say it's right next to our 
like main base. So having our very own like nether portal hub, this would be a very short distance, <laughs> let me tell you, uh, in the nether, like very, very short. So just right over this little oak area right here. So again, our base is still, you know, right behind us. You can't really see it anymore. But then the Woodland Mansion should be, let me just temporarily do something like this. I know it's going to kind of freeze for a second. Give it a moment. Watch this. When you pause, it loads faster in Java. You see the jungle? You see the dark oak? You see the temple? Look at that. I am fairly certain that if I, if I kept this open long enough, hold on, I think we can see both from the same place. That's amazing. Okay, so I don't think it'll load that far, but you know our base is right there, Woodland Mansion right there. Maybe if I just kind of fly over here, will that load it? There's the caldera. No, I think it's a little bit too far away. This is very hard on a computer. You know, on the Bedrock version of this game, though, it would have no problem at all loading this. Like, no problem at all. The Bedrock version of this game is very, very, very optimized. In comparison to this version, at least. But yeah, since we're so close, like, there's the campfires, right? From our, uh, our mega, I don't even know what to call it. Mega mob spawner slash sugarcane farm slash cactus farm. <laughs> Let's fly up there and look at it. Oh, man, I just cannot believe we've built something this big. Like, even in survival, the last time I built something this big of it, like this, last time I built a spawner this big was Minecraft version 1.7.3 beta, uh, which was like maybe eight years ago now, which is, I don't, I don't, I don't want to think about that, but yeah, it was maybe like eight years ago. It's working beautifully, of course. People always tell me, Neo, put soul campfires, and I'm like, dude, at the scale this thing's at, maybe it'd make it like a... 10% more efficient, 15%, but I'm happy with how much it makes currently. Uh, but yeah, let's just go grab some wool, because I'm fairly certain, like, we have some wool. I mean, we have to, like, have string, right? Alright, guys, well, I've been spending some time in our beautiful spider spawner. I figured I'd kill one round of them, a smaller one, on camera. All of my stuff is fully healed up, so we got per- it just- it's so satisfying. Aside, just- just ignore the shears, okay? You don't- don't need to- don't need to look at them. Looting 3 has been amazing. I'm not keeping the spider eyes. I really just, like, I don't need spider eyes. I've been throwing them on the ground. Um, but I've done this a few times, and with looting 3, you get, you get a lot of string. So it actually makes this pretty useful. Um, so I'll meet you guys back at the old base. I'll, I'll, I'll show off the lush cave one more time before leaving, just because it's so beautiful. Uh, but please, I'm not gonna die from these guys, I promise. So, we'll go ahead and just throw these bad boys on the ground. You literally, you get so many of them. And, uh, yeah, that should be enough string. Like, I'm 99% sure that's enough string. Um, they hadn't hit me. It's like the second I get on camera, I start getting hit. So now, oh, well, no, my, my armor's still good. My armor's still good. Um, but yeah, let's fly over to, um, the area where our base is. And let's look at it real quick. So, hold on. Look, we got some nice little axolotls hanging out. You guys doing good? You guys like steak? No? <laughs> they don't They don't particularly enjoy the beefs. Um, so we can fly over here. It's kind of tricky to fly through this thing just because of all the little vines. You can fly in here, um, but it's dangerous, you know. I've seen too many people die from elytras, so you try not to, you try not to hit anything and that's pretty much all you can do. But yeah, I'm sad to leave this place, but you know, it's not like it's gone forever. Um, but I really would like this beautiful nether portal to link up to the rest of- oh, okay. I don't like Enderman. I really don't. Me and me and Enderman have a little uh, have have an issue. Come here, buddy. Come on. Yeah. Come pick on someone your own size. Where are you picking on a bunch of cows, dude? The second I got down here, I killed an Enderman, and I guess this is his buddy just terrorizing the cows. No, sir. I don't even want your garbage. But yeah, I'd love to link up this beautiful Nether portal and have a nice Nether hub. It's always been my dream. So hopefully we can uh, see that to fruition. But I'm gonna sleep, then I'll meet you guys back over at the mansion. Okay, before I sleep, I wanna see how much... Okay, I thought it was nine string per wool, so I think we'll have enough. Yeah, I think we'll be good here. And we might have even had some in our chest. I really didn't... Sh <laughs> okay. I meant more wool. Okay. So, okay, I don't think we need more, but, like, let's just grab it just in case. Because I really don't want to go back. I probably should have checked it there. Honestly, it's always nice to have your tools nice and regenerated, especially your armor. Yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be enough. Okay, I'll see you guys back at the mansion. Why are you staring at me? You see that? He was just staring at me. Where's Buster? How you doing, Buster? 
You guys want some steak? Yeah? Okay, I'll give every I'll give everyone here a piece of steak. How about that? Yeah, how about that? And uh, I think this, yeah, this thing was done. So let's go ahead and grab all the extra steak we have. I don't think I had any more in here. No, I didn't. Okay. All right, meet you guys at our... I called this thing a mansion, but I never filled it in because it's just such a weird space. But yeah, I'll see you guys back over at the naturally generated mansion. Call it that. What are you guys doing? You guys are bad. I'm so happy it's so close to our base. Like, seriously, that's the luckiest. This is, this is the best world ever. It's literally the best world ever. I see the dreamland, our mansion. Okay, we're gonna make it into a dream mansion. I love if I called my, I called my bow B. It's the best bow ever. Okay, so let's just see here. I don't know what this, this could be our jail cell. If there's any bad things, we'll put them in jail. <laughs> we'll put some zombies in there or something. I keep forgetting, we have to actually like get a zombie. And I don't remember, I think you can use like a mine cart and like, Wait till night and then have the zombie. I don't remember, but it's gonna be kind of fun. I haven't done this in a while. Oh, yeah. I haven't been close enough for any of that stuff to generate. Okay. Well, let's put this bad boy down and then let's grab. What am I looking for? Hold on. Aha. Yes, my wood box. And okay, buddy, can you scoot? I need to put my wood box down and then I don't know how many beds we're gonna need. We'll make like a lot and just see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can't even pick them up. So, we need a spot. Okay. I was going to say, we need a spot for the uh, composters. We'll leave a little spot on the edge, too, for them to walk. Something like that. Okay, so I actually did count this out kind of nice. Eh, we, need, we need a few more beds. Maybe one, two, three to start off with. Yeah, I guess we can, we can put that fourth down. Oh. Where did that go? We can put the fourth down. We're just going to have to move this shulker box. Uh, then we can craft one more here. Come on, guys. Get out of my way. There we go. Oh, I guess two more. Hold on. We'll make two more. Sorry, I need to go let my dog out one second. Let me just quickly do this. Break this. Okay, and then put this here. Put the, uh, put the E chest on there. But yeah, I'll be right back. I'm going to go let my dog out. It's like when I work in a rush, I just like can't do anything right because I need to make another row of beds. Now I'm just confused because does this, if I put these beds here, does that mean these guys can just use these ladders? I'm thinking so. I'm thinking so. So let's fix this. Oh no. Where's that? Where's that piece of dark oak wood? Please don't leave. You want to stay in here guys. I promise you this is the best place ever. <laughs> this is the best place ever. Don't, please don't leave. So yeah, we need to raise this by one. Jeez, I need to get this out again. Get the wood box out. We don't have any dark oak wood? Okay, well temporarily, we'll put this here. Now can I jump and get on these ladders? I can't even jump and get on. Okay. So I need to design a new exit then. Oh. I am the smartest man alive. I am the smartest man alive. Do I have any? No. No, I don't. Okay. You know what you can do if you're if you're stuck like this? Just make some sticks, right? Yeah, you guys are like, okay, okay, you make some sticks and then you make some fence gates. And there we go. We just need three of these bad boys. They have no idea what these are. <laughs> They're like, what, 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 what are what are the So that's where that bed went. <laughs> okay. Okay. No oh my gosh! Dude. Okay, so those aren't in the brush spot, but you know what? It works. Just I hope they don't ever try to just run away. They can't jump out of here. I am gonna put these back though. Okay, now we just need to make some of these bins. I don't even composting bins. I don't even know if the recipe is the recipe like this? No, is it hold on. I think I know what it is. It's like this, isn't it? <sighs> I know what it is. It's this. Yeah, there we go. I don't know, is six enough? Maybe? Hmm. And I also remember someone was like, Neo, you just need to put some slabs to prevent them from like breaking the crops. And you're very smart, because that's exactly what I'm gonna do. That's like literally the perfect thing. I don't know how many I need, but if I make too many, so be it. They're really not hard to make. Okay. All right, so we'll just put these right here. Oh, they can still jump on those. Hold on. Oh no. <laughs> I'm just messing up all around. I'm so sorry, you guys. Hold on. All right. And I guess they have to have a way to get around them. But yeah, we want to 
slab them up like that. That way they can't like, you know. And I think six farmers should be good. We can't really have more farm. Oh, actually. Yeah, we can. I don't think we need this many farmers, but we can technically have this many. Sir, are you going to break your crops already? Can you just move? It's like they try to annoy you. There we go. This looks like a good breeding room, and it should work. So we'll just let them do their thing. I realize now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to build the iron farm this episode, because there's no way for me to, like... Like, I can't speed their process up. Yes, I can. I have a whole thing of bones, dude. Ah, I'm a smart, smart man. First of all, though, let me grab this wood box back out of here, because, ooh-wee, this is uh, all kinds of messed up now. And I wish I could have a bigger shulker box, you know? And I have the other one that's full of just junk. Where was it? I need to call this my wood number two box. Man, we have so much wool. Do we have like an animal drops box? I don't think so. So we'll put it in here. Put the wool in there. Okay, and then this one, we'll put the other wood stuff that we don't have any room for otherwise. We need my toolbox out. I know, this has been kind of boring. Hard. L let me just get through all this. That's how many shulker boxes I ended up getting out. But we have everything kind of figured out now. My inventory is nice and clear. I am just going to help propel these guys to the next generation of farmness by just growing all these myself. Planting them and doing that a few times. Throwing them down. Because that's all they need. They have like a little internal inventory. I know a lot of you guys know this stuff. But like some people don't. The villagers have an internal inventory. And what that means is they can hold, I don't remember, it's like maybe 37 items, or maybe three stacks of items. I really don't know, but it's some it's some amount and some size. So once they get, you know, an excess of carrots, they will just like distribute them throughout each other. There's only two of them, so it'll be kind of easy to max stack them both. Then they'll make one baby that'll grow up, and then of course it'll just, you know, go from there. So let me just grab all these. This should be easily enough to fill it. He's like, man, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you emerald for those. Yeah, you will, won't you? But you need to, you need to like farm these, my guy. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to trade with you. I'm so I'm gonna rush through this. I'm gonna see, hopefully, if I can build the iron farm this episode. If we can't, we can always do it tomorrow's episode. But I really wanted to get the iron farm done this episode, and then actually build some sort of like dock, as well as a uh, entrance to this thing tomorrow. So maybe. Maybe we can go and do that now and let these guys breed. And then tomorrow we can build the iron farm. Because I want to make it look really good, but it's kind of hard. Because, you know, if you build a roof over an iron farm, the golems won't spawn in the area you want them to. So I want to make it fit in with the mansion because I want it to be at the mansion. It just might be a little bit tricky because there's villagers down here and such. So I don't know how it's going to work. But for now, I'll just let them, you know, deal with each other. I'll do one more farming run, fill this thing in. As you can see, I already have an excess, a little, uh, what is it called, a surplus of carrots. So now, whenever I plant all these, I can just throw the rest to the villagers, and I think they'll even have too much to hold for just themselves, because look at that. Look at this excess. So now if we just, oh, okay, we gotta sleep, hold on. Okay. It says I can't, oh, okay. Did I really, wait, wait, hold on, did I just steal the only, <laughs> did I steal the bed from that one villager? I was like, it wouldn't let me sleep. So my girlfriend got me this really nice book. It's like a to-do list book and I've been using it and I've been loving it because now I can write down all these ideas and I think it's going to make the series a lot better because this is going to be a long, long, long term series. You see how they're throwing them? Because they have too many. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I need to stand here. I think they had an excess. Yeah, they did. So I'll just throw those in here. I don't want to, but they will do this automatically. I'll just throw them in there. And there we go, and we should get a baby. Hello? Baby? Hello? Please? Please work? Please? Please work? Did I give him? Okay, I think I gave him too many carrots. Oh, well, there's the baby, but I need to take these carrots because they keep just throwing them around. Um, let's go ahead and break all this. I don't think I can put this in here. That's fine. Um, I don't want to hit the villagers accidentally. That's why I hate when they crowd around me, because like I don't want to accidentally make them mad, and then they they literally hold a grudge like almost forever, and it's the it's the worst thing in the world. What is all this lag? So I think a lot of the lag actually is coming from our neighborhood. What do you want, what do you want to call it here? 
our neighborhood. I can never remember the name of these. Underwater temple. Like, there's seriously, there's so many of these little dudes around here. It's just crazy. So, we're going to have to take this thing out fairly soon. I don't want to do... Oh, dang it. Five minutes of mining fatigue? Bruh, I was about to build the entrance. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on, check this out. This is why I love having this. I always have everything I need. Where are my tools? Oh, please, where are my tools? Okay, look at this. So we have our toolbox. We have an empty bucket. We can go over here. Look at this. Just... No, oh, I can't... Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. We're going to go directly over here. And we're just going to grab a pail of milk. Okay. Thank you, my good sir. Look at this. We're gone. <laughs> oh, dude. I love finally learning all these things about Minecraft and being able to do it. This used to, when I first started my series, I was just getting ripped, dude. People were like, Neo, you know nothing about Minecraft, dude. You like, it's so, it's so, how, how do you play like this? So embarrassing. I don't want to watch it. I'm like, dude, you know what? I'm learning, okay? I'm not that good at Minecraft. <laughs> And uh, I'm not saying I'm like super good because I remembered some basic stuff, but it's nice to be able to know that I'm retaining knowledge and becoming a better player. So I need to farm a bunch of dark oak wood. I don't particularly want to just like destroy the forest right near my house. So I'm going to go somewhere a ways over here. I don't know where to go exactly. Um, to be honest with you, this dark oak forest is kind of tiny. There's a little island of it over there. So I think I'm going to start like maybe over here. And I'm just going to break a bunch of trees and uh, get a bunch of dark oak wood. I actually need this birch wood too because I want to do some lighter accents. So I want to use two kinds of wood and uh, I'm going to be making the mansion look beautiful. But I think we're going to build an entrance and we're going to build a dock. And then we'll call it an episode and then tomorrow we will build the iron spawner. I promise I wasn't trying to like bamboozle you by saying we're going to do this in the episode and then not doing it. I just... I forgot that I have to let them breed. <laughs> I should probably increase this as well um, to probably like 16, which I know can cause some lag, but like, honestly, there's not a whole lot to simulate around here. And I'm pretty sure that the mansion is loaded in. I mean, heck, we can even do like 20. Then we can maybe even put it to 20. That way it'll simulate them even while we're not over there. And that's, that's going to be really helpful. So I'm going to farm a bunch of wood. I'll see you guys in a bit. It's going to take a while, but I do need all the wood that I'm going to be farming. And uh, we're going to get to work on this beautiful, beautiful woodland mansion. See you guys in a bit. Okay, just a little progress update. I do have some birch trees planted up here. I figure if my sim distance is all the way up like it is now, um, these should grow as I'm mining the dark oak. Um, I have about, you know, two and a half stacks. Of course, this stuff is going to take a lot of wood, so I got a lot ahead of me. So would you guys please leave a like on the video? Um, likes have been down, and I think it's just because, you know, it doesn't really matter if you leave a like, I guess. But I would really appreciate it if you chose to leave a like. But you don't have to. Um, but I'd appreciate it. So thank you if you do. And thank you for watching. If you don't, i just appreciate you either way. Um, but yeah, back to mining some dark oak wood now. Done with the birch. For now. See, look. While I've been mining... Those trees grew, which is awesome. I think I am done. I found this little lava pocket to kind of dug out a little artificial cave here because I figure at some point we might need some lava. This is the spoils of what we have acquired. So quite a bit of stuff and definitely enough to get going here. Um, enough for the entrance and enough for the dock, that's for sure. So I'm going to go back over there. Um, I'm going to go on my creative world and plan a little bit about how we're going to do this. Of course, it's not the same woodland mansion because I just used a random seed. But um, I mean, they're all very similar. They're just different shapes. So I'm going to figure something out because I want to build a nice looking entrance. I'm not a huge fan of how this entrance looks like from the factory. <laughs> I just keep saying from the factory. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, sim distance, we'll put it 12, render on 16. And I'm also not sure, but I'm, I'm kind of digging the vines in here. We'll probably remove them. I get how they got in here, you know, because they're right next to a jungle. But, like, at the same time, how did how, how did you get in here? Let's go check on the villagers, see how they're doing. And then, like I said, I'm going to do a little bit of planning, figure some stuff out. And uh, we'll uh, finish off that little portion of our renovation. Uh, let's see. Okay, cool. So we almost got four villagers. That first baby grew up, and now we got another one. Are you a nitwit? No, you're not a nitwit. Go, go get a job. Oh, <laughs> literally instantly just tapped him and said, get a job. And he got one. Um, are they farming everything? Yeah, they seem to be farming everything. I can kind of help speed it up a little bit. I guess not with that one. Um, with one of these bone boxes. I can always help speed it up a little bit because yeah, they're very slow. 
Um, even when they're, you know, going their full speed, they're just a little bit slow. So we'll come in here and give them a little artificial boost. I am more than certain they will not mind having a little bit of a boost here. It'll help their confidence. They'll think that they're just amazing farmers and that they just did all this themselves. And that's all, that's all you can hope, you know, making the villagers feel good. Look at this, guys. Wow, you guys are such good farmers. You made all these carrots grow so fast. You guys are so cool. Okay, we'll throw the rest of that. Actually, I think they may pick it up, and that wouldn't be good. Is, can I use the rest of it? I literally don't think there's any more carrots to grow. Okay, that's fine. We can just put it back in our bone box. It's perfectly okay. Uh, throw that back into here. And then, yeah, that's our black box. The only one that's missing in there. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Let me do a little bit of planning, figure out what exactly we're going to do with the front entrance and then the little wraparound thing. All right, guys, I have a good plan. I'm not going to lie, I had to finish watching a video of this dude building a uh, a big diesel engine. I just watch a lot of weird stuff about, like, engines. I don't know why. Just watching people build engines. Um, so, first things first, we need to clear out, like, the path in front of all this. I do have this thing out, and uh, it makes every everything a lot easier, right? I need to clear some of the boo out of the way, and I think this will be the last little tree I need to clear, um, aside from this big one. Did something just shoot? Are you serious? Yeah, run away, dude. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Don't want to don't fight me, man. I'm, I'm not in the mood for a little fight here. And this tree can stay. Um, I just have to shape the leaves appropriately. There we go. Sorry, my mic was too far away from my mouth, I think. Okay. And then we can just take away the wood, which is the easy part. So I think that'll be out of the way. It's just going to be like somewhat of a staircase, I think. Um, it's just that, <laughs> you know, at the moment you really can't just like, you know, you can kind of walk into it and maybe break your legs a little bit. And hmm, I want to see if do I just want to do a traditional staircase or do I want to have some cobblestone to make it look nice? I really don't know. Let's just let's just get it up a little bit and then let's clear out some of this dirt here. And we'll work from there. Okay. There we go. We'll figure out what we need to do under there in a second. But we need to get a few of our shulkers out. We already have this one, which has the wood. And then, of course, we're also going to need the one that has stone. Which is... <laughs> gee, I wonder which one. Probably the one that's the stone color. Perfect. Okay, we have that. Now we got to throw away a few things, too. We don't need this, 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 this already have enough of those eh, I don't need that and then we need to figure out what kind of stairs we want and we have another like box here one of these is filled with smooth so I guess that one um, I'm trying to figure out what kind of stairs we want to use maybe just stone brick stairs I'm thinking that's probably the best option here is just some stone brick stairs so let's just make some of those I don't know how many we'll need that surely is enough and yeah, we'll see here I want to start the stairs on like this layer right here So we're gonna have to modify a few things under here, but I'm kind of trying to follow the traditional like, you know where the original blocks were I don't want to like make anything different if that makes sense And I, I think I want to do an extended staircase so We're gonna have like a flat block in the middle like that So we'll go over and then we don't go up until that next block So it's gonna make it a lot longer But it's gonna make it prettier. <laughs> I think and we'll have to add blocks in there because I don't know what block we want to be under there. Maybe birch wood? I don't know. Again, like we're doing two different kinds of wood just to kind of spice things up a little bit. So I feel like oftentimes a build has too much, my builds have too much of just one block. And I want to try to, you know, mix things up a little bit. And especially if this is going to be our first attempt at restoring one of these. You know, it's not in the greatest spot. <laughs> it's, in a, it's in a little bit of a pickle here. And then may actually have to go to remove some more wood. We'll see here in a second. I know. I just need to get this out. Make it a lot easier. Okay. So let's see. What all do we have to remove over here? Any more trees? Is there any trees in the way? I mean, I don't know if it's in the way. We'll see if it's in the way because I don't want to, like, you know, start a start a forestry, forest or deforestation effort if I don't have to. Okay. I am liking this staircase. We just got to figure out what material we want in between here. Again, I think it's going to be birch wood. Maybe dark oak wood logs even. I don't know. Yeah, I think we are going to have to break it. <laughs> oh, no. That's okay. 
Yeah, it's going to be right square in the middle. And it's one of those tricky trees. This is so big. Um, heck, where even is that tree? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, it is, it is tricky because it's right next to this big one. So I'm going to have to remove the tree without removing this big tree, which means I've got to disconnect all these leaves. Like, I don't know what is what here. I think that's just... Yeah. Okay. See, normally this is a tree that's so big you just, like, burn it, right? Because it's just no fun to take care of. But once you have a hoe like this, anything that mines leaves super quick, honestly, taking care of these big old trees, it's, like, kind of satisfying. Which is nice. Because, you know, used to, it was, like, really, really big pain. It was, like, the end of the world if you got a big tree. Uh, but now that it's just reduced to its uh, wooden core, you can see it's not that much of a threat. It's not that big. It's just uh, really, I don't know, fluffy. We'll put it that way. It's a fluffy tree. And it has quite a bit of wood, but like it's just annoying when there's all those leaves and you're trying to hunt for where the wood block is. We all know the struggle of the big trees. I don't need to explain it. But there we go. Now that's all taken care of. We don't need the wood. We already have enough oak wood. So that's where the next stair block will go right here so it's definitely a longer staircase and I think I want to clear out the area to the right of it maybe I don't know like I, I really don't know we're gonna have to play this by ear it's gonna be kind of fun though um, and then the area above it a little bit okay so maybe this thing can go too sorry your collateral damage buddy there we go then let's just clear all this stuff out easy peasy living squeezy there we go. Sweet. And then I think what I want to do is maybe have a path go over to here and have like a nice like landing pad for my elytra up here. And then you kind of walk over here and you walk down and you can go into the mansion. I'm just, it, it's like, it's a little close right there. <laughs> it is a little close right there, isn't it? Hmm. I could start out a big excavation operation. Let me just see how large it is before I say I'm going to do something like that. So let's see. How far over would I have to dig it? Okay, so all the way over here. And then it cuts a corner over here. Yeah, I think I can do that. It's not going to take that long. Um, I just have to figure out like how wide of an area in front of it do I want to really drill out. And I think I want it to be like... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I think I want it to be like right here. So, I'm going to do this off camera. I really don't think this is something you want to watch. I'm basically just going to remove all the stone and the dirt. We'll figure out how to make a nice retaining wall or something like that. Um, but yeah, it just kind of bothers me that like the front of it is just like completely engulfed. And uh, I'd like to be able to see the whole thing. We also need to figure out how far over we need to go. So, that looks like the corner. So, just a little bit further, right? Like, look at this. We're so deep in here. <laughs> it's gonna. I may. I may regret doing this. Um, but honestly, I'd rather regret doing it and uh, ha having done it than not do it and regret not doing it. If that makes any sense. So now I got to figure out how far over I want to go with it. Because right, I don't know if this is too far over or not. We need to go aerial view here. Okay, are we too far over? I guess we could literally just count how many blocks this is away from it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So, fifteen from the edge is where this thing is. Okay, so we'll do the same thing over here to square it off. Fifteen, and then you dig the trench. Okay, so this is the edge, right? Or is this the edge? I guess, no, nah, I guess this would be edge. So, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then dig the trench. So it needs to intersect like right here. I don't know how far we dug it over, but I'm gonna assume that it's not to this distance. Let's see, can I even see it? Where is it? <laughs> oh, okay, so it's down there. So we 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 were kinda close. We were we were kinda close. Where's this one? Okay, right there. So yeah, this is going to be quite a large excavation operation. I have faith. I can do it. It's really not going to be that. It's not like it's going to be hard. It's just going to be a long and arduous process. So I'm going to watch many videos and uh, kind of clear it out a little bit. 
But yeah, that's the whole area that I'm going to clear. This whole thing. First of all, we're going to start by getting the trees. So I'll see you guys in just a bit. I'm going to literally... <laughs> I hope you guys kind of understand what I'm doing. I'm going to remove all this. All of this. And we're not going to collect any of the resources from it. I'm just going to let my inventory... It's already filled up. I don't really want any of this dirt or anything. So the sun is setting on this day. When I come back, it should be done. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. Chill out, watch some YouTube dig some blocks should be pretty fun okay i'll see you guys when it's complete all right well i figured i'd give you a little bit of an update since i've been doing this for like maybe 45 minutes so far so we have the whole area cleared of trees and uh you can see that this is the whole like area that's going to be cleared all the way down to ground level as you can see over there and i have this little area cleared and this is just going to give us a nice little green belt around our house that we can work with and that's basically what I'm going to be doing now. So I really would appreciate a like. I know I've been doing a lot longer episodes, but I really like doing two, because then I can focus more on those two. I'm very excited to build the iron farm next episode. Um, but yeah, we still have quite a bit. Is that is that a dolphin? No, there's... I swear... Yeah. What are you doing, buddy? Yes, what are you doing? Oh, is he getting the cobblestone? Oh, he's... <laughs> he's playing with the cobblestone. Ah, but yes, everything's going well. I'm actually really hyped to see how this thing turns out. So I'm going to keep on going. Just figured I'd give you a little bit of an update so you don't feel like I'm, uh, you're missing out too much. Because you're not. I'm just digging blocks. It's not fun. Please, please make it stop, please. Okay, I figured I'd cover it. This part's actually kind of satisfying. So we're getting to uncover the Woodland Mansion, which has just been buried. I'm not quite sure why it was buried. Um, maybe, uh, maybe it was... It, maybe an earthquake happened and buried it. So we're kind of, like, uncovering it right here. We get to see... That's where that zombie was making all that noise. Um, I'm not sure what happened there, but yeah, it was all uh, <laughs> it was all buried. And look at this, guys. It's really it's not gonna take me too much longer. I don't think. I think the hardest part's out of the way. But like, ah, oh, dude, we're getting to uncover the whole thing because it's just it was it was covered up. I don't know. It's gonna be really satisfying when I come back and it's all done. So watch this. I'm gonna snap and then it'll be done. Watch. And voila, it is done. I actually recorded this part and then forgot to press record, but look, we have the whole area dug out. Um, I tried to save as much cobblestone as I could, and uh, I don't know about you, but I think this looks pretty good. Um, we'll have to figure out something for these, whether we'll do some retaining walls or something. We'll figure it out. If you have any suggestions for these walls, please do leave them down in the comments below. Um, I decided for this path, I want to remove these slabs. That's why there's slabs here, because I forgot to hit record. Um, I want to have a dock over here, right, so that I can, like, you know, kind of get out around here. But then, you know, I want to have this whole... I want to have this whole area be, like, a giant wraparound porch. So that way we can kind of walk around. We're not going to build the whole thing, like, in this episode. Um, I just wanted to get some basics out of the way, because, yeah, this thing was completely buried. And while I liked <clears throat> that it was so integrated with this uh, land mass, it was a little too close for comfort. And it's still in a good spot, and I promise you we're going to make it look good. Um, but there's just a few things I want to do before we end the episode. Namely, I, you know, I want to build some of that... Uh, I keep calling it a dock. It's more like a... Hmm. I don't even know what you'd really call it. It's not a dock. It's like a, uh, a porch, I guess. It just in, in, in an extreme way, it is somewhat of a porch. Um, and I also want to build this path out a little bit because as it sits currently, it's a little bit whack. <laughs> and I don't want it to be so whack. So I'm going to cover up all of this smooth stone that you can see. And we'll cover that up too. And then we're just going to add some supports under it just so that it looks nice and neat. Um, as with most things that I build, I try to make them look as good as I can. I'm, I recognize I'm not the best builder in the world. But you can always, you know, you, pretty much all you can do in the human lifespan is try your best as long as you're trying your best and you're being honest about yourself with yourself that you actually are trying your best then you're doing good because you know that saying can get misconstrued you know you can lie to yourself and say you're you're doing your best but are you really doing your best that's what you got to look at that's what you got to look at a little life advice from someone who is not qualified to give it <laughs> so take it with a great assault but I don't know. It makes sense to me. Maybe not to you. Everyone's different. Uh, but yeah, we're going to build this out just a little bit. Now, we do have some stone type materials that I want to pick up, like these right here. And I think I want to put some sort of wall on this, whether it's actual cobblestone wall or what, I'm not sure. I feel like if I use cobblestone wall, then we're going to deal with the problem of it being too homogenous and just too similar. Like if it's all just stone, it's going to look kind of weird. But we'll put it here and we'll try it out. And we'll see what it looks like 
from the side and from the back and the bottom and everything. You know, looking at it from the front, you know, it looks fine. From the side, yeah, it looks fine. It looks like a nice path. The only thing that I see could probably use some work is these little corners right here need a little bit more uh, molding to them. They look a little sharp. Oh, yeah. See, so, yeah, that already looks really good. And then you just have to copy the same thing on the other side. Boom, 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 and then boom, and boom. And now it looks good from this side, too. Um, and, you know, maybe for the supports we use something other than uh, <laughs> other than cobblestone. You know, maybe some wood here. Oh, maybe some wood here. I was thinking about wood. That's why I had my axe out. I was like, oh, yeah, let's put some wood down. Um... And maybe something like this. And if you want to look, want it to look more integrated with the stone around it, maybe we could do something like that. Oh well, yeah, dude, that looks pretty good actually. And then I think this one should go up in there, one block like that. Okay, let's break these two. Boom, boom, boom. Sweet. Okay, so it definitely looks better than it did before. It looks nice and supported. All the grass is gonna have to grow in around here. Um, let me find. I I think there should be some shulker. Well, first of all, where's my toolbox? Because I'm tired of having this hoe in here. We don't need this. We don't need this. Um, okay, we do need that silk touch big axe. Is there any more empty shulkers in here? Well, one of these said empty. Yeah, the orange one is completely empty. We can fill this one with cobblestone just temporarily. I don't want to, you know, just only have it full with cobblestone. But I want to have a couple stacks with me. Just a couple. And I know we don't need that. So just a couple stacks of cobble with me. A couple stacks of stairs. Stuff like that. Stuff we may want to end up working with here. And we'll just throw that back in there. And then pick her up. So. This thing I've been talking about. This porch. I've just been talking all about it. Well, let's actually start to get to working on it. So we'll take a bunch of dark oak logs. We'll just pick up this entire shulker actually. Um, but we're going to need cool. I don't want to get too many. I don't want to put the cart before the horse too much. So let's go over here. And let's start it. So I don't know how wide I want it to be. But I know I want it to be pretty dang big um, and I think that is the floor in here is it on this level okay so the floor is on this level so it's technically one block up so I'm trying to think yeah it, it would be perfectly fine if the dock was one block down because I want it even with the water right I feel like that's the best way to go about it maybe or do I want it one block above so that I could build supports down does it really matter hmm Let's try to build it one block above and see how it looks. And if we end up, you know, really not liking it or we're really unhappy with it, that's okay. Because, uh, you know, it's Minecraft. We just break it and put it back. But let me get this water bucket back out. I know it's kind of aggravating. I, I want to get started on it too. But sometimes you got to do all this stupid stuff. Get to the fun stuff. Just like in life. You got to do the stupid stuff to get to the fun stuff. Um, okay, so how wide do I want it to be? So if there's a fence there, then it would be this wide. I think I want it to be like that big then. Yeah. I'm trying to make it proportional to how big this thing is. Maybe even one block more. I don't know. We got, we got to sleep anyways. But let's look at that. Do you think that that would be wide enough of a dock? I think that's actually perfectly proportional. Okay. Oh my gosh. I really don't want to die in this world. I've done too much in here. <laughs> I keep forgetting I'm in hardcore sometimes just because, you know, I seem to be doing okay. I'm not like dying all the time or anything, but... I, you know, if I die, I lose the world, but it's not like, I guess I'm not, it's not like I'm losing a bunch of hearts all the time, but it's like stupid stuff like running into something with, you know, your elytra really hard can kill you pretty easy, I think. Um, and I don't want to die that way. <laughs> just to be a crappy way to die. So I'm going to build this thing all the way around here, which is going to be quite interesting. Um, I'm just going to for now do it on the side here. And then maybe we'll go and wrap around the front. I'm not quite sure yet. I have a few things like, you know, it's like, why did the developers when they built this thing just like, they were like, can you just make it as bad as you can? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. But it's like there's all this detail up there and there's none down here. And even the detail up there is a little odd. Um, I'm going to replace that with some arched slabs and a few things that just like are basic. I'm not going to like completely overhaul this thing, but I am going to change all the little details because some of them are just, they're just ugly. So I'll like do it on a few of them and then do the rest off camera because it's going to be a lot of the same thing for a lot of the areas. 
like I'll fix like one side on camera or something like that and then I'll go back and do this whole other side like that just because it's going to take forever to do um, but that's why I may want to do some of it on a live stream I think that would be kind of a fun live stream if you guys want to see that just let me know in the comments um, I know this episode is going to be very long and I apologize but uh, hey it is what it is I don't think I need to apologize giving you guys extra content to watch I think that's pretty nice right now let me fill in this dock area real quick but yeah, before I go, this episode's already taken about four hours to record. Um, and I still have to edit this video and the next one I record to be uploaded tomorrow. Because I'm actually recording this on Friday, uh, which usually I record on Thursday, so I have two days. So I'm, I'm working on a little bit of a crunch here, because we still got to do that whole iron farm tomorrow. So please do leave a like. I would really appreciate it. Okay, back to it. All right, guys, we have just a little bit left of the dock here. Um, this is on the long side, so these are the sides I'm going to put, the, and I keep saying dock, but it's a deck, so just let them be interchangeable for today's video's purposes, because I can't keep it right. <laughs> so, we need to kind of figure out a pattern for this thing, and it needs to emanate from this corner, and uh, it has to be, I, I don't know if these are odd lengths, or if this block from there is an odd length, but we can always increase the block, you know length over there like make it one block longer i just need to go and grab those shulkers wait wait i did okay never mind i have the shulker that i need with me here um so like i said i want to use some like highlights of other blocks i don't want it to just be this one material um and i think birch mixes nicely with this stuff just because it's like a lighter wood especially the planks i think they look kind of complementary to one another they contrast and they just make it look a little bit better. So I'm gonna go around here, which I know is kind of silly, and uh, I'm gonna fill in all of these as blocks. And then on the corner here, I'm still gonna use dark oak wood for the supports. Um, so I'll, I'll like the, oh no, <laughs> this is a big ravine. I'm gonna stay true to it though. If I'm gonna build a support, you can bet you I'm actually gonna build the support. I'm not just gonna do, you know, I'm not gonna half butt it. You know what I'm trying to say, because otherwise there's just no point, right? Like you might as well just go all the way if you're gonna if you're gonna do something. And look at that, that the Minecraft terrain generator goes all the way, so I should go all the way too. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna have a three block space in between, <laughs> and then I gotta go back down, and uh, I gotta do that again, see so to make sure I'm on the correct block. Oh gosh, yeah, this is deep. This is very deep, and I think. I have to go three blocks over. One, two, and then three, and then <laughs> do this again. So I might as well do two at once. And then one, two, three, and then another one here. So the next one won't be super deep. Oh no, that one's, I guess. You know what? It'll. G we're gonna go so hardcore on it, it's gonna continue through the wall right there. It's pretty sweet. This one though, of course, it's a clear path up. So we gotta fill this one in. So yeah, give me a little bit. I'm just gonna be doing stuff like this. And then I'm going to do that outer layer of birch wood, as you saw. And I'm going to do that on the entire dock. And when I'm done, I'll come back, show you how it looks. And uh, we'll go from there and kind of edit things, change things as we see fit. I can assure you, though, I think this is going to look pretty good. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. And it's raining on me. But I'm finishing the last little bit of the birch wood and then the supports. So now everything is looking good. I'm just kind of building everything step by step just to keep everything nice and simplified. And uh, to make sure I don't miss anything, because if it's something this big and this, like, to this scale, you really don't want to miss anything, right? And I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with the dock, as far as, like, design. Um, I planned out a little bit of the dock on, um, on my, uh, test world. And, uh, I got about this far. So at least I have some of the dock built. Uh, we're just gonna have to kind of figure out how we want to integrate it with the rest of the build. I do want to have stripes of birch planks in the build. Like, not stripes, right? But, like, areas of birch logs in the build. Because otherwise it's kind of pointless. Um, you know, to have just birch in one spot. I do know that for right now, at least for the dock area, what I want to do is have all the birch kind of intersect like this. Um... So you can see how those are kind of connected. And then I just want to bring the birch just straight back off of every one of these supports. So that's what I'm going to do next. And that makes it look like it's more constructed and like these are sections that they put into place. Instead of just like one solid slab of wood. Not that any of this is realistic, but like, you know what I mean. It just kind of gives a nice effect to it, some nice texturing to it. So that's the next step. So that's what I'm going to be doing is just putting these nice little stripes in here. Okay, so I have completed that, and it looks good. i got one extra, one extra little birch plank. 
And now I gotta figure out, I think, the design I'm gonna go for. So what's cool about, you know, just Minecraft in general is that certain blocks are kind of funky, right? So you're probably like, Neo, dude, what are you talking about? Let me show you real quick. So for instance, fence gates, unless they've changed something major, they're really expensive to make, but see how they connect to this block and they connect to this block. But if you put one here, it's not, it's not at the same height. Wait. Wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How did you do that? There used to be a way where you could, oh, maybe it has to be fence that you're connecting it to. Let me try that and see if that helps anything. So if we have fence, right, and like you had one, two, three, so if it was connected there and there, and then, well, used to one would be higher up or something. It would make it look nice. I don't know. I'll play around with these fences and these fence gates in a second here. I just got to go back up to my home and sleep. Um, so yeah. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. It's much better. No rain. No annoying noise. It's really not that annoying. It's supposed to be a nice noise. It's not very nice. Mm, I, I kind of like that. I kind of dig that. If we, if we put like a fence, it gives it some more variability um, as opposed to it just being straight and flat. Um, well, it is straight and flat. More variability to the textures, I guess of the fence because you need a fence right and then if you ever want to go out you can go out and we may add a little dip block okay and you're like neo what are, what are you talking about i really don't know i'm just going to call it a dip block that way you can dip into the ocean and then dip right on out um i don't know how it's going to go i'm going to experiment with some slabs some stairs and that's the fun part about building you can do really whatever the heck you want um but what i mean oh well, this is the opposite design to this hmm Hmm, so I'm putting a fence gate in the middle. <laughs> That's actually fine. I, it really doesn't matter. Um, I was just, it's just interesting that I completely made it the opposite of what I made it previous. Um, but yeah, that, that allows you to kind of open the middle one, just kind of walk into the ocean. But of course you can't get out. That's the big oof, right? So if I do a dip block, like if I do an underwater, st okay. Okay, Minecraft. If I do an underwater stair like this, and then I do a right side up stair, it could be pretty sweet, right? And you could just walk right out. Now, how would that look on a massive scale coming off of the dock? I have no idea. We might as well just build it and just try it, right? Um, it's just a bunch of stairs, and we have enough birch wood to do so. I do need to go grab my stone chest so I can put everything back up. But before we do any of this, let's check on the villagers. How are they doing? Oh, yeah. See, this is why I wanted to do this now, because now we already have enough... Oh. You're not supposed to be here. You can stay here, though, of course. You protect the villagers, but look at all these villagers, dude. I think we're getting close to how many can even be in here. One, two, three times seven. So there's, there could be 21 villagers, and I see three, six, nine. I see, like, 12 villagers. So we can get a few more villagers for sure. Just a few more. Um, but, yeah, let's... Let, before I forget, let me go put up all this stone. Because it doesn't look like we're going to be using stone on the dock. It just doesn't seem to fit. You know, it's kind of, a, you know, docks are historically wood. Not really. It's mainly concrete and plastic floaters now, but historically. Because <laughs> Minecraft's a very historic game, as you know. You know, there's a lot of history in uh, the blockitude of Minecraft. Um, but I'm just going to pick all this stuff up because we don't really need these shulkers out here anyways. I'm going to plop this up. And then let's just make all of these into stairs. Now, stairs are kind of expensive. You only get four, and you use six blocks. Does someone want to ever explain that to me? You know what I mean? Because, like, a stair is, like, three-fourths the size of a block. Yet, when you use six of them, you only get four. <laughs> you only get four. It's like, what? He's <laughs> playing some sort of joke on me, right? We'll leave the crafting table. I'm sure we're going to have crafting tables just amassed throughout this thing. There's going to be so many little spots of just... It, it, it's going to be amazing. I love having this base home to work with. I already have so many ideas for how to make this place look more fancy. It's just the scale of this is so large that some of it is going to have to be either done off camera or on live streams. Otherwise, if I recorded it like this, it would never get done. The dock is something I feel comfortable recording. Um... But yeah, I need to just kind of see how this is going to look. So I'm going to do it just on this one side, just to make sure I don't want to change anything. Because if I want to change anything, I might as well do it now instead of doing it on the entire thing and then having to go back. Of course, I don't think I have the thing that allows me to swim faster in water. So it does make it a wee bit slower, but that's okay. And then you put that stair. So I'm going to do that on the, all of these, and then we're going to come back and look at it, see how it looks. Okay, so we got it built. 
And uh, honestly, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Uh, if you look at it from the side, it just it just gives more texture to the dock as opposed to it just being kind of flat on the side. Let's actually like get some distance on it so we can actually like, you know, properly look at it um, without being too close. And uh, you know what? I really like that. I think that's, I think that's a winner. It makes it look cool. It makes the dock look unique somewhat. And then it also serves some purpose. Like if we're ever just in, you know, the water and we want to just slide on up here, we can just kind of, whoop. Oh, I guess I was still flying technically. <laughs> if I ever just want to, you know, walk on up here, there you go. Now you're in the, uh, now you're in the, in the zone, dude. Um, this one has to be reversed. I'm gonna have to make a lot more of these. So don't mind me. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this little area. We'll figure out what to cap these with. Uh, these things right here. I want to have some lanterns out here. Obviously, I don't want this whole thing to be like super duper dark. So and maybe we have enough. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Look at that. Do we have enough of these though? That's the big question. I said I'd do it off camera, but it's really kind of a quick process, so there's no point. I will, however, do the little dippers off camera because those things are. Well, kind of a pain. You gotta swim through the water a whole bunch, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. You put a stair. Upside down one. And there we go. Okay, so that's all done. Looking good. And then I want to add these little things. These little dippers right here. These aren't dippers. These are... I don't even know. We're not, we're not gonna keep naming every part of this. Uh, but now we need to add all those. And that's gonna take quite a bit of dark oak wood, which I think our reserves are running low. I think, wait, 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 we actually have another chest with dark oak, yes, from this excavation. There was a lot of dark oak, yeah, we got enough. Okay. I was worried, I was like, man, I don't have enough wood. <laughs> that would have been ironic, after all that time, mining wood, doing stuff like that. And we need another set of these, another set of these, okay. A long and arduous, ardu arduous, I don't even know how to say it, whatever. I don't even really care. If I say it wrong, I say it wrong. It's just the way she goes. Okay. Wait, why did I make more of those? I don't even need... Don't ask me. Sometimes you just do things, you know, and you don't really know why. And What's that thing? What's that, like, meme? It's like, you know, you gotta act like you're okay. Do these connect? Can we do something with those? Does that look cooler? No, they don't really connect, and that'll bug the heck out of me. So we'll just do it like this. Um, maybe we can even do it like that. I don't know. Would that be too much fence? Would that take too much fence? I don't know, man. I don't know. There's a lot of things I could do. Does that make it look too busy? No, I think that actually makes it look good. It's just we got to do that on every single one now. <laughs> Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit when I'm done with that. This is uh, what I do when I'm off camera. I swim, then I click. Very fun. Okay, well I just got done with that, just slept, and uh, it looks nice. Now we just gotta figure out what, what we wanna cap these things with, and I'm thinking birch slabs. Um, and luckily that stuff didn't disappear. I walked away for a little bit too long there and didn't realize it. So we can make some slabs. Luckily, slabs are they're they make sense. They're half of a block, and three of them get you six. You know, but why? Why? <laughs> why is it not like that for every other block? Why is it not equal? That's like there are a couple of like data packs people install um, that just change some recipes to be like that. Like stairs will give you the appropriate amount and stuff. And like I've been close to being like, guys, I'm gonna install these data packs. But then I realized, nah, I probably shouldn't do that. I, I, I want the vanilla experience. The tr even if it's a little wonky, is Minecraft, and we gotta love it. Um, so now we just gotta put a few lanterns down, a few more finishing touches, maybe some leaves. <laughs> and then we also gotta figure out what we're gonna put on the stock. But before we do that, we gotta actually build some more windows and stuff like that. Cause I, I don't wanna put all that stuff down, but I don't wanna put the cart before the horse. Um, and then yeah, we gotta make a yellow shulker box because our light box. I don't even remember what color it is It's purple that makes no sense. There's no there's not even a purple light block um, And this has our lanterns in it, and I want to just stick a lantern on these on the blocks protruding and This is just gonna allow us to see it from far away um, And then I need some actual you know lights for the dock So I'm gonna do that with just some fences and kind of curve it over. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it yet. I'm just trying not to make it too busy with all the lanterns. And you may be saying already, Neo, this is already too busy. My guy, it looks like garbage. And if that's your opinion, keep it to yourself. I'm just kidding. You, you can hold that opinion all you want. 
nothing I build is the greatest in the world, but it's something I like, and that's all that really matters, and something I hope you like, too. Not that I don't care about your opinion, but, like, you know, I like my opinion, too. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look bad, and it's not the best thing in the world, but that's okay. We're not, we're not going for the best in the world. So now we got to figure out, we did make a bunch of extra fence, but this is something that I need to determine for myself. Am I going to use sea lanterns or what? Eventually we can upgrade to sea lanterns if we turn that, you know, thing. We, I do plan on draining it, right? Um, but to do something like that right now, eh, this episode's already taken like close to five hours and I need to do the next episode. But I want to finish this off strong. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna need light on the actual dock, right? Like, right now, it's literally completely dark. There's not gonna be light up here at all. Let's go far away, but before, let's grab our boombox and, uh, grab a couple of these boas. Okay. I don't know, I guess we can just leave it there. Uh, but let's just see what it looks like from afar. I like to kind of come over here and just look at it. See, why that hurt me so much? Like, that's... I guess feather falling, or I don't have this on, so I don't have the protection for from that. And that's like almost half my armor. Yeah, dude, that looks really good. It looks very textured, but that's how I want the whole mansion to look. I want the mansion to look properly good. Um, maybe there's too many of the dippers. Maybe. Hmm. Something looks off about it. I can't figure it out. I think there may be too many of these dippers. Let's say we remove this one, keep this one. Remove this one, keep this one. Remove, keep. Remove, keep. I'm trying to make sure, hold on. Remove, keep, remove. See, that would make it uneven. So if we, even if we removed one or the other, that would make it kind of weird. Okay, well let me toy around with this a little bit and then see if I can't figure something out. I think we're just gonna leave it how it is for now. I think it looks fine. Not the best thing in the world, but it's not like we can't ever change it. Um, it's not permanent, of course. We're still missing a shulker box, which is worrisome because I don't remember having another shulker box. Oh, it's in my inventory. <laughs> so we're not missing anything. That's good. We'll leave the dock how it is for now, and then when we want to change it, we'll change it. But again, like I don't really know what it is I need to change, but I know I need to change something. So I'm sure you guys will uh, let me know in the comments, right? Right? That would be much appreciated because yeah, it's just like it's a little bit too Maybe it's just like it's a little bit too much like too many blocks. Maybe it's the dippers <laughs> You guys are like Neo you don't need those they're they're kind of stupid But they give it some more you know texture to go into the ground and I don't know maybe maybe I could hmm Wonder how it would look without the dippers Maybe that's what's making it look weird uh, I don't want to like remove them all but they weren't that hard to build, so maybe I could just remove them and see how it looks. Maybe I'm just too in my head about it, and it looks fine. But I keep looking at it, and I keep thinking to myself, this doesn't look quite right. But maybe it does. I don't know. Maybe it's just contrasted with the blandness of this thing. It could be that. There is something I can do off the bat. You know, I said I didn't want to get into the mansion part too much, but there's just one thing that, like, it's like it, it, you see it, you know, if, it, if you're someone who builds and, like, I guess knows what looks good, and I'm not claiming to be an expert, but I pretty much I can tell if something looks good or it looks bad. Um, you know, you don't have to be a chef to know if food tastes good or bad. You know, I'm not saying I'm a great builder, but I can also tell when something looks a little off. And where the heck... Okay. There we go. I just need to put up all my wood stuff here real quick. Because uh, Lord knows I have enough. It's too much. It's too much wood stuff. But yeah, I need some cobblestone. Where did the rest of my cobble go? There it is. Okay. There's just one thing. You know what I mean? It's just like it's, it's right here. Why in the world is this not... Hold on. Why in the world is this not connected right here? Like, who, who in their right mind thought that it was fine how it was? <laughs> like, why is this? Why? What, what, what is this? Okay, so let me let me move all these down. And then uh, we'll come back and see how it looks. It just looks wrong without them. Okay, and then the last thing we'll do in this video is this thing right there. Okay. You can already see. You know what? You see what I mean? It's just that little tiny thing, and it made it look so much better. And then at the bottom of here, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this that, but it's it's just stuff that we need to change that I don't want to get too into in this episode because I want to save it for another episode. That and this episode's already much too too long. Um, 
I say I don't want to do it, but like I could make these stairs in like two seconds. This is a dangerous road. I'm I'm going down a dangerous road that I can't stop because I just I I'm on this roll with <laughs> this little area, and I figure you know what it's might as well do it. Okay, what? Why are there these things here? Like what? What purpose are these serving? They're not like supports. They don't look like part of a support. I mean, there wasn't even a support there to begin with. But like, what are these little three things on the ground? Are they to match the three up there? Because even if they are, like that looks fine. Like that's textured enough and it looks cool. But it's like the wrong, it's like the wrong pattern got thrown down here. And we'll leave it on the corner. But let me go sleep, come back down here. And let me show you what I mean. Because, oh, I can make this thing look so much better. It's so, just, just short little brush strokes on this canvas. And I can make it look a lot better. So as for the windows go down here, it doesn't have to be like exactly mirrored how it is above. Like there doesn't need to be a window down below like every single one of these. I think there will be because it's going to be a mansion. But instead they just threw some logs down and said, yeah, it's fine. It'll work. Um, but like all these things here, look, you could put, for instance, you could put a solid block and then a stair, right? And then some slabs, right? Like that. You see what I mean? And then the, the support, in my opinion, also should go up the side. I don't think I'll do that, too. Um, but, like, a solid block, a stair, and then some slabs. Like, just that little bit. And then you could even put a slab right there. You know what I mean? Like, why are you guys not doing this stuff? And maybe Mojang put this here intentionally uh, to trigger people. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Because, like, they, they obviously can find some good builders. If someone was like, hey, we're going to add a new structure to Minecraft... And uh, we want the community to help. Dude, the community would be all over that. And it would take, like, maybe a day. And someone would be like, okay, here's the new Woodland Mansion. But maybe the trick is, is you don't want to make it look too good as to be too uh, too daunting for newer players. I don't know, honestly. But if anything, if you're a new player, it could be, you know, something that looks so good you want to live in it. And maybe it would be some inspiration for you or something like that. Um, but I don't know. Is there a story behind why the structure's, like... The jungle temple isn't so bad. I don't think the jungle temple's that bad, but is there a story as to why why these mansions look so horrible? If you have it, let me know. Maybe maybe someone should do a video on it. I love watching the ant venom videos. They're like, "Did you know?" <laughs> it's like so dramatic and stuff. It's a he's great great creator. Really genuinely a great creator. Um, okay, did I finish this whole side? Yes, I did. And then I think I want to carry that same thing. Now, it's gonna be a little tricky to get up there. Uh, I don't have scaffolding with me. I should put sca- I should- I can fly back to my base in two seconds. Uh, but do you see what I mean? It already looks miles, miles better. I actually need a little bit more height here. Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky. I gotta land on the edge here. I need to slow down. Slow down. Okay. Now, where are these center pieces? Okay. I think it's right here. Yeah. And then you just build the support all the way up. It's like, why why was this not already done? <laughs> okay. And then I got to navigate my way over to here. And I think there's another one here, right? Oh, it's so hard to see. No, there's not. There's one right here. So, yeah. Let me finish all these. And I'll come back and we'll look at it and see how it looks once all these are done. So, see you in a bit. You see what I mean? Like, there's just so many little things. Like, okay. Let's, let's fly. Okay. Let's fly away here for a second, and let's just see if we think this looks better, okay? Just me and you. You see what I mean? So much better. Just so much more congruent. We need to extend the top story as well, which is going to be the most fun part. And then I decided to, it, you know, kind of do the same pattern, uh, you know, and add a little bit of birch wood in it. So, I don't know how that looks on the inside. I haven't really looked at it for the inside. Maybe uh, we should go and do a little check, just kind of see how it looks before we do the whole thing like that so let's just see oh yeah see what i mean that looks good i should do that from the inside that would actually make it a lot easier wow um i think that looks fine honestly i'm 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 up for it so i'm gonna do that little thing and then that will actually be the last thing that we do this episode i promise i promise not that you guys don't want to see more but it's like i gotta record tomorrow's episode as well so give me a little bit i'm gonna copy this same pattern to all of this side and all of this so uh, it may be a little tricky over there. Uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, may have to do it from the exterior over there. And then eventually we'll do it all the way around. But just for right now, I'm just kind of showcasing these two sides as the front of it. And uh, yeah, give me a little bit. It's going to take a while. But then we'll be done with this episode and we can do the iron farm knowing that we have a direction and that we're doing good. So, all right, let's do that. 
All right, guys. Let's take a final look at it before we, uh, before I see you guys again tomorrow. That's the progress that I've made so far, and I think it looks good. Before I take the thumbnail, I may go ahead and add some birch up to the top just so it looks a little bit better, but I don't want to record anymore right now. i um, probably record the next episode in an hour or two after I take a break and eat some food. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching today's episode. I think personally it looks pretty good. There's a lot to go. And uh, it's not done, of course, but it's going to look very royal and very opulent. I may, you know, end up sticking some gold on it. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, may, you know, mix in some mossy variants of these walls and stairs. And I think there's mossy stairs. I'm not sure, but we'll see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. The secret code for today's episode is going to be 9283. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of episode 28. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I appreciate it. Please do leave a like on the video. This episode literally took me, it's either five or six hours. It's taken a long, long time, uh, but it's been an awesome episode. We got a villager breeder done. We got a lot of progress done here. We cleared out this whole area, and I'm pretty sure all the grass has grown over here, right? I think at least. I guess I can just literally fly and check. Yeah, all the grass has grown. I mean, we've been doing this for quite a while, so I'd hope that would have happened. You know, obviously I got to copy all the stuff I do on these two sides as well. Um, as well as those little tiny sides right there. So, yeah, as for where I'm going to put the birch, you want to put it, like, right there on those little lines. We'll see. Uh, but, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to do an awesome iron farm. And, uh, yeah, it should be pretty awesome. We're going to have to build, like, some sort of rail cart system to get up there. I may even do a rail cart system inside of the mansion. I don't know if anyone thinks that would be cool, but there could be, like, a rail car running up here. The ceiling is so tall. It uh, could be, like, you know, a little station. Be like, oh, you want to go to the iron farm? Boom, you click a button and you can go to the iron farm. But, yeah, this is super epic, guys. I'm so excited to keep making progress on this. Yep, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye!